Hello all, welcome to SGN Tech Forum. So this video is going to be a very first video of the series DNA Center, Cisco DNA Center overview. And as you pull in your uh, URL for DNA Center, I, I assume the DNA Center is powered up and installed and reachable. So as you put in your IP address or URL of DNA Center, you will be presented with this screen, Cisco DNA Center. Uh, with the Cisco logo and the uh, citation, the bridge to possible. Uh, enter your username and password. And you can see the, uh, the DNS center every time you pull in is presented with uh, some very nice background uh, uh, screen. And this one is my favorite, is a seven magic roundabout in UK. So you can Google it, but anyways, let's log in. All right, so it's a success and now as you can see that i am logged in as an admin and this is my dna center screen and um, it lands you to the overall health summary page which uh, which is a very nice high level overview of your how many network devices what is the health of them any wireless or wired devices and you, so it's a very quick summary and then down below you can see network snapshot how many sites I have configured, network devices, application policies. So a very high level overview of what is going on within your network. Really like the view. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll see uh, the five main pillar of network configuration, uh, design, policy, provision, uh, assurance, and platform. I'll talk about these uh, major tabs in later videos. This video, we are going to discuss DNA center as a platform, what you can do with them. And these are the design design policy provision assurance platform. These are the pillar to build the SDA solution primarily. So we will touch base on them uh, in upcoming videos. Uh, if you scroll a little further, you can see the tools, the tools available uh, to do some auto do auto automation task, discovery, topology, command runner, license manager, temp, Ed, uh, editor network telemetry data and reports we'll touch base upon this in this video and if you have worked with epic em the earlier uh, sdn product of cisco you'll find a lot of similarities some of these tools were uh, were present uh, in that uh, tool and cisco dna center is kind of like uh, evolved from the earlier epic em version not entirely the same but yes it has uh, some inspiration all right so now uh, what what you would like to do next is uh, if you look at this uh, icon first thing you would like to do is to click about and it will show you what version of dns center you are running and if you want to check the release notes you this link take you to the release note and the packages is going to tell you what all the packages are installed uh, on this dns center you can scroll through it i'll, I'll touch base on what is packages Next, if you look, click on this gear icon, you'll see system setting, audit logs. I logged in as admin or you can sign out. So let's check system settings. If you click on system settings, it's gonna land you to the system 360 page, which uh, tells you what is going on with DNS Center as a system uh, as a whole. So you can see that uh, for cluster, I just have one host. I can have a, a cluster of three hosts uh, for high availability. And then the next column immediately says high availability. So once you have the cluster of three, three hosts, you can distribute services among them by clicking uh, enabling HA. Uh, cluster tools, service explorer, monitoring, log workflow, all those tools are there. System management. So it tells you what, what is uh, so for software upgrade, you are connected to Cisco software and what if there is any update available. So it actually tell you that. The backup is what you can check next. And then application health. So automation assurance. Also, if you have any third party integration that will show up here. So I am integrated with Cisco Ice. And at the same time, I am integrated with Cisco, um, sorry, in, InfoBlox IPAM server. Uh, interestingly, I am also integrated with the ITSM, but it doesn't show up here. 
for that you need to show in platform all right now let's explore some other tabs software upgrade updates so if you click on software updates you can see these are the system update and applications available and you can see that i have some updates available so i can just click on update and they will get installed and activated and install app is this is kind of like uh, you know, they have adopted the smartphone architecture so th these are the apps installed on my dna center on the top of the base oh, base os so system image is my base image and then on the top of that we have this app functionality then the main tab what you would like to see is the settings so setting is the first thing is anonymized data so once you uh, enable anonymization that mean uh, any user con contextual information like username and all those things they won't be sent uh, in clear text they will be uh, randomized uh, to hide that those details authentication and policy server I have just one policy server configured, which is a, a ICE type is ICE and using protocol radius. But you can add multiple servers uh, just by clicking add here. Certificate, you can see self-signed certificate or any uh, the CA generated certificate. You can uh, replace the certificate from here. The one thing, uh, good thing is Cisco credentials. Here you are going to put your credentials and uh, <clears throat> which actually help you to connect to your uh, license, uh, smart licensing. And also if you are doing any kind of like uh, plug and play, you can set up your plug and play uh, uh, information here, like device serial number and all those things. I, uh, and likewise, there are a lot of other tabs. So if you, are, uh, you don't have any direct connectivity, you can configure your proxy here. So all those configuration options are here. Um, another thing is users. So as you can see that I'm uh, logged in as a uh, admin user, but you can do user management, define your internally users, or you can use any TACAT server um, uh, or, or LDAP based integration. So there are some certain roles at this point of time defined in DNAC by default, super admin role, network admin role, observer role, and telemetry role and they they have a certain privilege associated with them backup and restore backup and restore tab help you to configure <clears throat> backup for for the dnac um, so you can configure your external backup or or maybe you can use dnac as an internal which is not recommended uh, and you can schedule your backup so if you don't have uh, any backup created you can schedule a backup uh, uh, maybe immediately or a strict schedule weekly which is like a cron job kind of thing and and save this backup to the your remote server so now let's go back to uh, the main page you can see we have these tools so discovery tool is primarily used to do any kind of like the, if you want to discover any devices which you want to manage by uh, dna center you should do this uh, using discovery so you can add discovery uh, i'm going to show you view all discovery so these are the discovery job so you can create a discovery job or you can just uh, simply uh, copy and edit a discovery job so what is the information required for discovery is at least your snmp server uh, mm, snmp server and uh, ip address so you can discover devices let me create a disc new discovery job so you can discover devices based on your cdp ip address range lldp and as you select the fields uh, it the option changes so ip address you can range, specify the range of ip or if it is a third uh, lldp supported devices you can say lldp and then what depth what level of depth you want to use prefer address uh, you i use use loopback but you can choose any interface and these are the few settings you need to configure before you run your discovery like your cli access which is uh, dnag will use uh, to ssh to the device snmp you can use snmp either version 2 or you can use snmp version 3 as well 
and some devices like uh, wireless uh, embedded wireless they may need netconf so it's, uh, it's good to de uh, define your netconf also and then you can run your discovery so now let's go back the second important tool is topology so topology is going to show you the uh, <clears throat> site wise topology or any unassigned devices so the unassigned devices are the devices which are not uh, assigned to any site basically and i have these many sites available so within site you can see this is my topology look like so these are the devices discovered and assigned to the sites a very good view some of the other tab uh, i have shown you in other videos uh, like uh, a temp editor uh, in my templates uh, video section command editor is like if you want to run uh, commands directly against your device list you can use that so you can search your devices uh, or select it from the drop down menu and then you as it says up to five commands can be added so you can have all your show commands and you can use it by comma settings and then say add and then it's going to run the command so let's me run one quick command here um, and the show version so add this command run command and if the device is reachable it's going to run the command and show the output here this device uh, it may not be reachable at this point of time command executed successfully and uh, it can show you that command success show over as you click show over it's going to give you the output here so you don't actually have to log into uh, the device uh, ma manually itself you can run real-time show commands uh, from here and, and export the CLI output as well very good feature license manager this is the last thing what I would like to show you so if you have a, a smart account uh, uh, integrated with your um, Cisco ID you can integrate your smart account with DNA Center and DNA Center in turn is going to show you all the license available uh, in your account so you can see that uh, for my switches what what licenses I'm using how many licenses I have purchased same thing for router wireless eyes and you can say all eyes and also you can actually do take some actions so you can uh, manage license re re reservation you can actually do a dlc that means if you have traditional license you can use deposit traditional license and the device will uh, uh, fire up the re required command and you uh, update your smart account so i have dealt with the licensing in one of my other video uh, please see that for more details uh, so this is what uh, i would like to show you today um, and the rest of the tabs like design policy and provision i'm going to visit in our upcoming videos thank you